I've got a new zine. First, let's talk a little bit about zines. Zines in general. I've said before, I think people should really consider printing the photography. I think you get a lot of benefit from printing your work. I think you really appreciate the photos more if you, if you can hold them in your hand. And zines are a great way to do that. I like that zines are a very cost-effective way to print your work. I like that you can present a collection of photos in a, uh, a way that's really not too expensive. It's not too formal. It has a way of drawing you in when you're holding that zine. It's, it's kind of like going to a, an art show or a gallery, except that you can revisit anytime you want. It's kind of an intimate experience. It gives you a chance to, to really study the images. A subscriber to this channel, Graham Richards, has been sending me copies of his zine. And I've really been enjoying seeing images he's made of his homeland, of where he lives. Graham lives in New Zealand. I, mean, I, I can't even pronounce some of the places that uh, he's done his zines on. But I really enjoy seeing his, the world around him through his eyes. So let's talk a little bit about my new zine. This is the fourth installment of Seeing Monochrome. And this subject is Covered Bridges. I've said in the past video that I have two zines to complete this year, and this was one of them. Some of you may have seen me in past videos out making images for this collection of photos. Um, Covered Bridges is not really landscape photography or nature photography. I kind of view it as landscape photography. I really like the locations, the... Uh, the country nature, the rural, rural locations that these covered bridges are located. They're uh, along charming country roads. They're kind of off the beaten path. I think what draws me to covered bridges is, is the, uh, the historic nature of them. They're built in a simpler time with real simple materials. I really find them beautiful. And it's something that I've been doing photographing for since the early 90s. I think I can trace my love for photographing these bridges back to one of the very first covered bridge photos I ever made. That was probably at the start of my photojournalism career. And it was a photo made in the early 1990s. This is probably my first covered bridge photo. I could not believe my luck when this classic car came driving over the bridge. It was just dumb luck. It was, but it was one of those really special moments. An image that I made in the uh, 1990s is still probably my favorite covered bridge photo. You know, just 35 millimeter black and white film. It's probably 400 speed, probably handheld. <laughs> and all the images in the scene are made with digital and film cameras from 35 millimeter medium format, four by five large format film. And this is a project that I've been working on informally for, for many years, not really thinking of what I'm going to do with it. My goal is to photograph all the cover bridges in Oregon, and there's, I think, about 50, maybe a little more. This will probably be an ongoing project because even the, the bridges around me, if the weather changes, there's going to be a different light, I'm going to want to go back out and shoot some more photos. I imagine this, is, this project will, will continue through the rest of my life, it's just because I enjoy the cover bridge. And as long as uh, they're out there, I'm going to go ahead and, and photograph them. I'm lucky that I live in an area that people value the historic nature. They value the beauty of these covered bridges. And, they, and they've made the effort to keep them. Sometimes it may not make in economic sense to keep these bridges. Although I think they do bring in tourism. I'm just glad that someone decided... Yeah, we should we should probably keep those. 
<laughs> there's not very many of them left. So if you'd like to preview this scene, as usual, there's a link on my website, writeinthephotography.com. And of course, I'll put a link in the description. And if you'd like to check out my other zines, I'll also put a link to, to where you can look at all those. It's free. I, I do like people to see my work. And if you decide you want to pick up a copy, I get a couple bucks that I can put towards future projects. And if you want to take that a step further, you can join our Patreon team. But most importantly, if you subscribe and you hit the like button, that does a lot of good for this channel. I know you hear that a lot. I almost never say it. I'm trying to get in the habit because we just need to be reminded of it. It's probably the most important thing you can do for the, a channel that you like is to like and subscribe. It's, it's quite that easy. Well, thank you for dropping by the Riding Edge Photography YouTube channel. And if you want to see more photography content, I also have a second photography channel. And I'll put a link for that in the description as well. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.